This is the entire story of Brookhaven so far. In this video, we'll uncover the entire lore such as the dark secrets of Brookhaven as well as what the future holds for the town. Let's begin. So the history of Brookhaven is mostly hidden within these tapes that are scattered throughout the town, all of which can be claimed by doing various tasks in a specific order. And upon playing the tape, you get the history of Brookhaven. We start off with Mr. Brookhaven, just an average guy in the woods along with his horse. Now in the next frame, we can see he's digging up some gold. After doing some digging though, Mr. Brookhaven found something odd, this mysterious magical pyramid. And instead of telling anyone about this discovery, Mr. Brookhaven covers it up, but the magical pyramid begins to resonate with him. And sometime later, Mr. Brookhaven would use the gold he found to construct the town. And during the building process, he would meet his future wife, Madison, and soon his daughter, which they would lose, but more on that later, because we move on to the second tape. Here we show the town of Brookhaven being constructed, and this is where things start to get weird. So in this frame, Mr. Brookhaven is seen climbing up the attic of what appears to be the funeral home, and with the last frame, it shows him holding up a flashlight almost as if storing something in there. But what is it exactly? Well, if we go into camera mode, you can actually look and see what Mr. Brookhaven is hiding in here. It's a piece of the pyramid, the thing he dug up all those years ago. So obviously he hasn't told anyone about this, but why? So in the third and final movie tape, we can see Mr. Brookhaven and his wife Madison living happy and peacefully in their new home. They also have a child. Life is great for the Brookhavens, but that's when the agency shows up to wage an all-out war on Mr. Brookhaven and everyone he cares about. Speaking of war, tag along with me into battle as your own vehicle of choice, taking on the land, seas, and air, because today's sponsor has a whole new take on war games. Check out War Thunder, a free-to-play epic military action game where you can customize your vehicle with camouflage and different skins to make it look however you want. You can also choose from a variety of vehicles from 10 different nations. As you play throughout the game, you can upgrade your vehicles to include additional armor, devices, and special equipment. This was all part of a major update, La Royale, which includes a whole French fleet led by the battleship Paris, the legendary BTR-80, the Su-39, and many more. The fights have also gotten way more realistic, so save you to destroy a tank, different parts of it will explode. Download War Thunder for free by using the link in the description down below. All new players and players who haven't played for half a year or more will receive some exclusive free bonuses for the P-40E1 aircraft and M4 tank for a week. You'll also get unique skins, premium vehicles, in-game currency, and much more, all for free. But you better hurry because the bonus season will be ending soon. Thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. The agency is a group of agents with a lot of power, but also with a lot of mystery. They're seen landing in what appears to be the original spot Mr. Brookhaven first found the mystical pyramid. That's when they go back to their base, where they are seen to have found some pieces of it as well. And that's when the army is called to wage an all-out war on Mr. Brookhaven and his family. And this is where we get a first glimpse on what these pyramids' abilities can actually do. So in the next frame, we see Mr. Brookhaven being told that he's in danger. It seems like the true power of the pyramid is that it allows the user to see into the future, possibly possibly even time travel, but more on that later. So knowing that the army was out to get him, Mr. Brookhaven, Madison, and their child fled the scene. They would go into what appears to be a bakery. If you go inside this bakery, you'll see that there's actually a hidden passageway. In here, there's also a note stating, the sound stretches across the town, an alarm to those at sea. You will enter with a piece from that which bends. We will be hid from the powers that be. So obviously making references to the pyramids and its power being scattered around the town. I'm not really sure who wrote that, but in the same room, there are beds that Madison, Mr. Brookhaven, and his child were all staying in while in hiding. Meanwhile, the agency is working with the military and the police to find Mr. Brookhaven. The agency even goes on media broadcast to report Mr. Brookhaven as a wanted man. And so eventually realizing he can no longer hide and not wanting to put his family in any more danger, Mr. Brookhaven would turn himself in to the military and the agency. They bring him in for interrogation, but while being imprisoned, the powers of the pyramid activates and he mysteriously disappears. Left confused and without a trace of Mr. Brookhaven, the agent members report his disappearance and the tape ends for us to figure out the rest of the timeline. So get your thinking caps on because it's theory time. So we know the agency is now in hiding. We could see this through various pieces of their logo scattered throughout, most notably their bunker which is hidden near a gas station. But the agency wasn't always hidden because as you saw in the tapes, they were in contact with the police, the military, and even the hospitals. In fact, they even had an entire building at one point in Brookhaven. And yes, it was actually playable, but it was removed during the summer 2020 map update. So what changed? Why did the agency building mysteriously disappear? All that can be answered with the original movie that's played in the theaters. See, it's not just a random movie, it actually connects to the town of Brookhaven. The movie starts with the FBI agent standing outside the agency building. He then later enters the bunker that may seem familiar to you, but the lights are different so this could be a different location. And so during the FBI agent's investigation on the agency, something happens to him. He turns into this green, zombie-like creature and then goes into a life of crime. And that's where the movie ends. So the FBI agent found something about the agency that got shut down and he got attacked by them in some bizarre way. They 
agency did have ties with the hospital and police, but that didn't last long. And we know this because of a note found in a secret bunker that states, Dear General, after visiting the hospital and witnessing the agency's practices, the medical team and I have chosen to resign. Please consider doing the same, medical officer Avid. So yeah, this caused the eventual shutdown of the agency and they went into hiding. But I want to talk more about this FBI agent because this isn't the first time he's been shown. In one of the houses, there's a secret passageway and when unlocked, you'll be taken to a hidden room. Within this is a laptop with the text, I did not know the truth in the beginning. They came when I was a child and I believe they're referring to the agency. And on the bottom left of the laptop states property of the FBI along with a photo of the same exact guy. So this room is where the FBI agent was hiding. But there's actually another location where the photo is located. In the prison going to the cells, you're able to escape. But instead of going outside of the jail, you can actually go through the walls and into a mysterious room. Within that room is another photo of the FBI agent. But why? Well, I believe someone that was locked in this cell was locked because the FBI agent from when he stormed the agency building. After the person was locked up, they wanted him dead. And so they turned him into this green monster. But who's responsible for this? Who would be so powerful within the agency to want him dead? Well, that of course is the creator of the agency. So in the museum, you can see a picture of a sinister looking man and you can kind of wave it off as a random citizen. But after doing a series of tasks, you're able to see a hologram of him, almost as if he's been watching you this entire time. Afterwards, if you go to the graveyard, in the back of one of the tombstones is a text stating the creator of the agency. My theory is, is that he's not actually dead. Same with Mr. Brookhaven, who's not dead either, which is also confirmed because if you start a funeral at the church and look in the coffin, you'll merely find a picture of Mr. Brookhaven. But what about Madison? Where does she go during all this? Well, she stayed hidden. There's this homeless camp in Brookhaven where if you open the secret compartment, you'll find a note by Madison to Mr. Brookhaven. It says, My dear, the power of the agency has grown. The majority of the people have forgotten the truth and are now part of the agency. We have been shunned and are now in hiding. Madison. It seems like this letter never got to Mr. Brookhaven and Madison had to go into another hiding area. That place being the camp house. See, in the camp house is a secret attic, but here is where we find out the tragedy of Mr. Brookhaven and Madison's child. So within the attic of the camp house is a doll, one that belongs to their child. And nothing out of the ordinary here, but if you have the disaster pass, you can enable the ghost and you'll be met with a familiar figure, just pale and white. And sometimes you'll even hear it say this sad cry. And I believe that cry belongs to that of Mr. Brookhaven and Madison's child. At least that's what I thought. But my new theory is that I believe that this FBI agent is actually the son of Mr. Brookhaven and Madison. Think about it. In the laptop, it says, they came when I was a child. The agency has been chasing him and his family when he was literally an infant. Also, when asked for the password in the agency base, the password is Marcus Brookhaven. And that is the son's true identity. When he was infected by the agency, he turned to a life of crime and then later joined the agency itself. See, the agency really wants to find Mr. Brookhaven. They've proven to do a lot of horrible things to people. Some of the terrible deeds can be found within the hospital. There's another green man experiment, as this area used to be the agency's experiment room. And then another secret is that there's a hidden passageway with a note stating, Operation Red River Terminated. Report. Everyone said this time would be different. Nevertheless, history did repeat itself. I cannot pinpoint the power source. However, it looks to be beyond this world. Maybe history will show us the way. So what exactly is this note referring to? Well, underneath the desk, there's a secret button where I went Pressed, you're taken to a weird area where physics and logic just doesn't make sense. There's even this room with chairs all over the place where again physics and gravity don't make sense. And all this is powered by the pyramid and the crystals scattered throughout Brookhaven. And I believe they want all the crystals because once they possess them, they're able to power up the portal that is hidden below Brookhaven. And at the time of this recording, we're not able to go inside the portal, but we can speculate on what's inside. I believe once going inside the portal, you'll be able to go into the future or back in time. And I got this theory after going into the secret hotel room where upon pressing certain items, some text appears that states, this room is from the future. And also in the note written by the agency, remember how it said, maybe history will show us the way. That means you're wanting to use the portal to go back in time. And seeing this run down and destroyed hotel shows that something terrible is going to happen in the future. Something the agency will do has caused everything to go bad. But what? We don't really know at this moment. So unless Mr. Brookhaven, Madison, or even the player can stop the agency, the town of Brookhaven may be doomed by them. Let me know your theories on Brookhaven secrets. Type them out in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.